Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this little stream. I'm literally just prepping for a show and I thought I'd stick the camera on. Uh, I'm getting ready for Comic Con in Dorset, Weymouth, March 24th, 2019. Um, it's my first Comic Con, so I have no idea what to expect. But uh, I got my postcard prints and this is them. So these are all little winnie winnie postcards. And these are four of the designs. I've got six designs in total. But uh, I just want to tweak the other two designs. I'm not 100% happy. So as I'm not 100% happy, I'm not putting them to print yet. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm doing some packs of these little postcards. And there'll be six designs in total. So I'll charge £5 for six. And that way it's a quick easy transaction uh, i found it shows before if i do a bargain which reaches a note instead of coins uh, they tend to sell quite good because it's just a case of out the wallet pass over no change go kind of thing so uh, these are just the packs of four until i get the um other designs done now i've completely messed up what what one haven't i got on the front got in the queue Catfish. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's right. One, two, three. Oh, that was it. <laughs> uh, um, ooh. This is. Ah. Yeah, it feels slightly precariously balanced right now. Biscuits. Ah, to keep me motivated. Under here somewhere there is a pile of prints. I'm trying to flatten them right now. So uh, let's see, one, two, three. Now I honestly can't quite remember how many of these prints I've got done and my invoice is packed away. So I'm doing, once, once I've got all six uh, designs, I'll shuffle them around a bit more. Come on. This way, if somebody can't afford a print, uh, there's going to be a cute and easy way for them to get something. Which I think is better than uh, not getting anything at all. Uh, this show, from videos that I've seen, there's going to be a lot of kiddly winks, so I need things that are priced to uh, that kind of audience. I don't want to outprice myself. I'm very, very conscientious that not everybody can afford a £35 print. Um, and on that subject, I'm I'm taking a gamble. I uh, hope I can get away with this, actually. I have no idea if I can get away with this. But basically, half of my table setup thing in my bob is going to be my own personal artwork. And then the other half is going to be fan art. Because <sighs> I'm stuffed if it's if they turn around saying no. <laughs> I'm well and truly stuffed. Mind you, I can always claim that the fox images are from the animals of Farthing Wood. <laughs> um, so I kind of get away with it that way. But um, yeah, like I say, we'll see. And the thing is, I want to take my main prints of the horses and the dueling violinists and things like that. I don't want that to just sit in storage. So I haven't had time to go to a sale. Um, so with that in mind, those prints are going to be the £35 ones. It's cheaper than I should be selling them at the end of the day. I should be selling them for a lot more. But it's covering costs. Now, my prints for the Comic Con are also going to be a little more expensive now, I think I, I had a chat with my printer chap and we both agreed that it was probably better to go in with less prints than go in with more and not sell anything. 
so I've got just five of each design. I've been, I'm still kind of ooh, uh, because this event could have like a thousand people turn up to it. So I'm really like ooh, uh, do I, don't I? Um, so I've kind of made a decision on the fact that I'm I, temporarily I'm just going for five designs. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, if we do five, one, two, three, four. Just gonna put five of each into a baggie, keep them separate. They'll be individuals for sale. Um well the thing is if I haven't got a decent printer at home, I'm I can't afford a decent printer at home right now. So I don't want to ship stuff out and get naff quality. Something with me you'll find is that if you're going to buy something off of me, you will be buying quality. If I produce something on a printer at home and I haven't got the right inks, I haven't got the right papers and all that stuff, well, the product's going to yellow, it's going to off colour, it's going to have problems. And then customers are going to be like, that's not acceptable. Where's where's the quality? I pay good money for this product. <laughs> um, seriously, they were just going... <laughs> and all that I don't want that so I've paid to have my prints done as glycy prints which is one of the highest qualities you can get this means that it's cost me over six pound for a a five size which is that size so you'll see them hopefully in a minute um, so I'm gonna have to charge between eight and ten pound because of course I've had to add on scanning costs and uh, there was a little bit of manipulation on the sizes so the work done by the printer guy I had to account for that so it's kind of it's made the price go up but I feel I'm justified because people will be walking away with a high quality print they're not they're not going to walk away with something that's going to fade stain yellow degrade um have any problems really i mean yes glycy do eventually um kind of degrade but not at such a fast rate as if i was just using printer paper from my own printer so um people probably will whinge about the price it's too expensive meh you pay you get what you pay for at the end of the day with me I'm not going to diddle somebody. Well, I don't want to diddle anybody. Diddly, diddly, diddly. Diddly. Once I bag this lot up, I might get a chance to do some sketchy sketching. We'll see how it goes. Bagging the artwork. Da, 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 da. Ooh, we've got two bags on. I normally don't like using plastic, uh, sadly I'm kind of forced at this thing because I need the artwork to stay clean. There we go, right, that's those all bagged. So those can wait in a little pile until I get the other two designs. Um, I've got this girl made as cards, so let's bring her out. Seriously chuffed. So these are cards. Uh, I bought, I would get them in the lowest batch possible, which is 36. Actually, I never did check the information you put on the back from the original drawing here. I couldn't think of a name for this one, so it's just called Pink Lady. <laughs> She's an apple. So that. Uh, and, um, you know, if you've seen my previous video about uh, buying the Jane Davenport stuff, the face on here, there's hardly any detail, and that's why I got that kit because I want to be able to add that detail onto these images. So that's all of those. Those will be going to Kingston Ward if I get booked in now this year. 26 designs. I'm running out of room to display them on. Um, running out of room to put them on as well. 
and then the two prints that I've got to get done are this one I've still got some tweaking to do I'm not 100% happy with the image I'm happy but not like happy happy and then there's a this little one and this one has got a really faff tiddly faff tiddly oh my god it took forever border because all my gold pens ran out at the same time uh, when I get this one turned, these two are only going to be postcards. I'm not going to have these done as prints. If people are interested and want prints at the event, I will ask for email addresses and we'll sort it out after the show. Because it's just expensive for me to produce these at the end of the day. And I don't want to go and do a massive print run and then people say, nah, I don't want it now. Actually, I've got to tighten up these edges just a tiny bit. So those two are hopefully, as you think about, I don't think they can now. These are going to print at some point within the next week or so. So let's put them somewhere safe. Right. So under here are the prints. Yeah, if in doubt, squish it with a 600 page sketchbook. So all of them are going to be in these little wallets and I actually got warnings on the back of the bags they don't have any information on the back um, but I'm gonna I should have put my business card in there that's really stupid of me isn't it I've done two. hang on I need a business card So, um, the two that are in bags, or three that are in bags, those won't need anything with them because they're going to be the display models. So that's going to be a display model. Don't you dare go anywhere. God, they're still bent. These have had like 72 hours underneath a serious press. Um, so that's the other display model. So, and that's why they're all wrapped up because I don't want them to get sticky fingers on. Then there's another one. The sizes of the paper have been cut not 100% to a specific size. So in, when people buy them, they can get an aperture, frame it. If they don't, they can just trim it round. It's up to the customer. So that's that one bagged. And there's the Mimikyu. Another Pikachu. So that's the glossy print. And that's the postcard. You can see there is a little bit of difference, but I would say it's not that major of a difference. He's done he's got a, done a good job with a quite difficult paper. So these guys all need to be bagged and we're gonna put a business card in the back. Just making sure I've got the right one. No, I haven't. Mind you, that should still work. Okay, so my business cards are really basic. So hand printed, uh, my little Holly Fox image, my contact details. And then what I've done is, you can see the shimmer? I use some Crafters Companion uh, sp Sparkle Spray to get that. Blimey, everything's flying off the desk. So, it goes in and business card. I'm not going to seal these ones yet because I'm going to sign and do a tiny signature on the back, but my hands aren't really up for it today. But it's just getting them safely sealed away 
I might flatten that way, put more weight behind them. I need to get some more business cards made up as well. Oh, come on, don't stick. And if I'd known there was so much prep to a Comic Con. <laughs> no, seriously, when I do um, the craft shows, I don't have this much prep. All this is taking the stuff to the place, selling it, and kind of do leveling. I'm not having to bag or anything like that. Actually, if I'm doing that and that one as well, I'm figuring out how to do this. Oh, come on. It's only got a thumb with these, can't you? I'm put this one that way. So I'm making them face opposites right now. Oh, and uh, if you're at the show and you get one of my business cards that has got a gold edge to it, you need to send me a photo of it because that will entitle you to a free image. I'm not kidding. I will do a one animal head commission for free. But you've got to find the golden ticket. And I actually don't know where the golden ticket is. It could be in this pile. It could be in... I've got about six other ticket, uh, piles of tickets. So that's one, two, three, four. Yeah, so I've got five of each print. Um, now the golden ticket, as I say, could be anywhere. But uh, if you find that, that's a free mission but it will be only uh, a five or a four size I'm um, I can't spend too much time on commissions right now I know this is rather boring to stream but I'm gonna be No, I'm not. Um, I just thought it would be interesting to stream. Well, not exactly interesting, but meh. It's streaming, it's adding to my streaming hours, which I need to do. I haven't streamed enough this week, month, year. tempted to put the gold back into these but I don't know how it would uh, act in a, I mean gold gel pens and such tend to be a little bit finicky I might do a couple just to add a sheen to them Slip off anyone. when I put the weight on top of these the whole lot is just going to go kaplimph actually I'm going to swap these over right and let's put a big heavy book on top without sliding around too much Technically, I've only got four of each print um, for sale. Because the fifth ones will be going up more. But if I do sell the four, any of them, 
Uh, then I'll bring the fifth one down off the wall. So I thought it sold out, so there's no point in it being on the wall. Then again, if I kept on the wall, I could just take email addresses again. Um, oh, decision. I don't want to disappoint people. Not that these images are probably as... I don't even think they, they are as good as other artists. There's no way I'm not. Nope, I'm not that good. Um, so that's why I'm doing a tiny Comic Con, because I, I can't play with the big kids. and do a This is where I know that everything's clean. And this plastic's recyclable, so it's not something that's just going to be, well, it can be recycled and that's what's important. one. Yay! <laughs> I don't have the patience to sit in and bagging stuff. I spent years doing the envelope stuffing. No, no patience for that here. Right, there's one. Yeah, I'm getting more business cards. <laughs> so, you two. Three. Go there. Should be flatter. Which is a simple squish. And then hopefully, I can do that there. Oh god. Yeah. Whoop. Ah, oh, we're back. Right. Time to get creative, me thinks. that Jane Davenport paper stuff. Do this one, yeah. Meh. Meh, I tell you. Meh. Um, what else do I need? Um, let's try a bit of that. And let's, let's get something on the paper first. to draw what to draw what to draw well jane davenport has all these lovely luscious ladies so i'm going to rough this in a pencil uh 
just to say I am no good at drawing humans by the way so let's not expect miracles to go but I yeah this is gonna look really bad I just want to test this paper out. Whether I'm not going to draw on people, so. I control people but it's the the proportions that I will struggle with. Now my tomboy mono rates are just flew off the table. Uh, where do I want it? Um actually I don't know why I'm raising lines because I'm gonna paint it over them anyway. Oh that ear needs fixing, doesn't it? Okay, um, <laughs> right, that is a really seriously rough head. Let's fix that down. Don't want that too. Ah, that'll do. Right. Right, ooh, ooh, ooh. Right. There's a lot of thinking going on backstage here, so bear with me. Part of me knows what I want to do, part of me is like, no, no, no. Um, most of the stuff into its little baggies and these are lovely little baggies so I want definitely want the nudes out in fact I might be able to use that and blue 
gonna be that oh water. <laughs> it's easier just to get the whole lot out. Um I definitely feel I'm gonna use blue whitish silvery glittery and the white from here with I think one of those two. Right. Okay. <laughs> Big breath, here we go. Never used this equipment before, scared, sockless. So here we go. Oh, um there is something that I need which I can't physically see. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I do know. I need one very, very important bit of kit. Why is it never there? It flies on the floor so many times. It should be here. Um, right. Ah, oh, there it is. Where's the other bit? Oh, yeah. Right. Tissue, water. And a little tray. I need a little tray. Random tray. Right. Okay. Right to me. One brush. So in theory, one, two, three, four. Round, round, round. Once I cover this with the acrylic, I'm probably going to lose all my details. So this is going to really be funny. So I'm going to go. Quite a that is quite a dense texture. Wow. I say wow because wow. That dries super fast. Blimey, I didn't expect it to dry that fast. Okay, um, can we react to it a little bit? Can we get any worse there? I've just washed a little bit of water. Onto the brush just to see what I can do. Wowzers. That, um, that dries impressively. Well, they weren't kidding when they said this was a good product. Right, let's uh, put a little bit down here. I'm trying to use any tiny, tiny amounts. Because as I said, I'm not sure on where this drawing is going to go, so I don't want it to be overloaded. No, it's tendency is this painting strip drawing, isn't it? Come on, move, 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 move. Actually, I'm quite happy that the pencil lines are showing underneath. A little bit of that water. Wowzers, that dries so fast. There we go. Mix a little bit of water. And it 
thins down really nicely. I'm not overly worried if it has gone over any pencil lines because I can fix her up. Now I've put quite a bit of water on that, uh, this paper stroke card stock, but it's not really um, been affected by it. Wow. Okay, give that a few more seconds to dry. So I need to add, right, I'm going to try and add in the shadow just using this pinkish acrylic stuff. So I'm going to try and just loosen it up a tiny bit. A little bit of a heavier application here and also a heavier application over here. little tiny bit just here so I'm just trying to work out where my shadows are right so get that brush washed a few spritz with my spritzy gun and I've attached it back into the magnetic brush holder and that is really neat that magnetic brush holder let's put seal on there right, um, gosh I didn't quite expect it to dry that fast in all honesty um, blimey Ooh, caught me by surprise right so pasta leafings where do we open pasta leafings Oh, and the hinge is on that side, so... With me opening boxes, tends to end in disaster, so... Um, ta -da! Hmm. And then we need a applicator thingy. Yeah, I need to still try and find out if I can get some spare heads for these. Ooh, spongy. Very long. Really long. Nice how it gets thicker in the middle though. Good grip. Um, right. Uh, oh, jeez. I'm actually really nervous about doing this. Okay, the white hasn't done much, but that's okay. We can we can play around. Um, let's go for a slightly darker colour. It could be because I'm being too light. Oh wow, that goes down nicely. I've never really actually worked in part. Um, pastels before so this is well and truly a new learning experience for moi. moi um blimey these are smooth this is as smooth as a baby's backside people Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is this is nice. Oh. 
Well, the joy of actually trying to pay attention to what I'm doing. I'm, I'm enjoying myself too much here. Uh, yeah, that bit's in. No, it's not fully in the shadow. Pay attention. Oh, that is just so smooth. If this is making me f actually feel um, a teeny, weeny, weeny, weeny bit more confident uh, in drawing people. What what magic is this? <laughs> I suppose because it's blocking in shapes, isn't it? Jane Davenport, you're working your magic on me. Which is not a bad thing. So long as I just block in these colours, hypothetically, I should be able to um, get a moderate match. And a little bit of this powder goes a seriously nice long way. Okay, so let's try, try and pick up a slight darker colour. Because this area here is all in shadow. Let's go, let's be brave and go for an even darker colour. Okay. Hmm, now I think I'm understanding this a bit more. The more pressure I apply, the stronger the line. So as long as I keep it light, then my marks should stay quite gentle. Right. Um, so if I come back to this one, the shadow was going across like that. Um, this chappie's got quite a lot of wrinkles in his neck, so yeah, I'm being weird by doing a bloke instead of a woman. I know. I think having this acrylic underneath as a foundation works so nice. I never actually would have thought of doing something like that. Um. There's a darker area up here that I just want to try and get in. I need, be, need to be a little bit bold with my colours, so I'm going to push a few of the tones more than I would normally dare push tones. It's time to be bold. I'm sure there's a way to backtrack anyway. That's a wonderful thing about art is that there's normally a way to backtrack.
Okay, I know the proportions are well out. Um, but let's bring this up a little bit. This is all part of me learning. Everything's going to be slightly out. Bringing the lighter colour. Oh, it happens. So now, if I go for a really light pinky colour, hmm. Okay, how about this one? I need to do is lip kind of colours now. Lips, I hate the colour of lips. It's all right on women. You can always make lips look acceptable, but on chaps, you don't want big pouting doublers, big mug bobs. Actually, what I will do is. The shade in these shades. And even though this paper's got texture, it doesn't. You can feel it, like a very light sandpaper, but you can't. It's not um. Really rough, rough. So you can just feel it being filled in. I get the feeling the white probably works its strongest when there's a lot of colour layers. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to change sticks and I'm going to try one of these glitter ones. I have no idea what to expect with these either. I really, really, really want to try this grey out. Mm. Quite um slightly more sticky, I'd say. Blimey. Wow, that's um yeah, that's got some proper sparkle in it. you can see the shimmer on the camera can't you <laughs> okay yeah this this is stuff is um yeah this is pretty cool i've <laughs> it's taken a long time and many years but i'm really actually enjoying this product it's been a long time finding a product that i can enjoy to this degree this is this is cool this is making me feel better about trying to even attempt drawing people you know, me, the person who can't draw a person to save my life, and I'm actually feeling like I, I'm getting somewhere. And the glitter is quite fun. Because what I can do is, I can go slightly darker, I get the feeling, and I should be able to map out the shadow, and then put a white layer over it. I'm just adding the glitter just for a little bit of effect. Oh yeah, that's the glitter one. It feels um more liquidy, more uh, denser, which is absolutely fine by me. I'm going to send this to the bloke itself. That's 
blues along there so I'll turn that into blues this is fun this is different Um, let's try the white. This is really the one that I can't wait to try. So if I flip that the other way around. These little applicators are absolutely brilliant. These are great fun. I feel like I can, I can layer with these as well. I've just added the glitter kind of for a bit of a fun effect. So let's bring it back up. And then there's a the little shimmer. Right, uh, time to clean it up. But those are fun. Those glitter ones are definitely, definitely a bit of fun. So I've got glitter thingy and I was going to add some blues in there, wasn't I? That's why I love playing with art supplies. You just never know what's going to happen next. Mm, what did I put in? Right, um, I'm going to go for this blue. Once again, no idea how this is going to end up. I'm just going to try and bulk in some shadow. And you literally you just need the tiniest amount of this stuff this powder and it goes a seriously long way And put that frame in the little sticks that um these are made of they've got some flexibility but i wouldn't push it too far i don't reckon Actually, this purple is really nice for the shadow.
need to sort that ear out a bit, I think. Let's go back to the nude set. And I'm going to use some really light colours. I'm going to rotate the paper, so apologies. trying to add that ear in as well.
so you can blend back um, so what I mean when I say blend back is that if you take one of the non glitzy ones and you go over it you can take out the, the glitter you can soften it right down Just a tap of that pastel goes so far. Right now, apparently, if I take the license to quill pen, I should be able to go over these parsley stuff now, I am useless with brush pens so let's see how useless I can be And yes, it's true. with the women um there's not that much detail well there's hair and stuff so what to do with the glasses um bill make this have a look at what else we got i've got these stick things haven't i um These are slightly different. Oh, 
I'm loving the blend. I'm starting to regret putting ink over it. Okay, pull it together, pull it together. What I need is a white, but I sadly don't have one. Um, apart from the pastel white there, that's the only white that I've got. Um, ah, I know. Mark making. The glasses that this guy's got on. Uh, you can kind of see his eyes through them. Okay, I definitely need to work on the pens because that's squiffed it now, isn't it? Right, so uh, I need to unsquiff it. Oh, I know. Um, thinking in process, be warned. these out so I have no idea what these are going to be like. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I mean they're metallic aren't they? Metallic again. I quite like that. That's very, very, very smooth. There's going to be a lot of humming going on over here, by the way. Hmm. I really, really, really like the pastels. The pen is so strong. Um, then I think it's because I should have maybe... It's because I, I don't go bold with my colours. Okay, let's see what happens if I do this. Ooh. Didn't expect that. I didn't actually expect the um, 
white to go over that so that's that's handy So I can actually soften down the pen by um, putting the pastels on top. That's pretty cool. I'm actually quite, quite grateful for that. It's like a blue tinge. I'm just trying to think of how to best to get it. Um, also, I'm actually enjoying playing with these pastels. Uh, the pens, I found it a little bit too bold. But then that's normally the thing is I'm used, very used to working in pens, so not working in pen is a bit weird. Uh, let's try and darken up some of these colours.
Yeah, I'm, I'm seriously regretting putting the pen down. But that's part of what this practice is all about, is getting used to the equipment. I'm sure there's a trick, in, trick that I can bring in to make some changes. Blue again. Hello, I got a ding 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 ding. Why have I got a ding 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 ding? Bip123. Oh, thank you, Bip. And um, welcome to the channel. Nice to have you. Bip, bip. I like that. Nice man. I'm surprised there's no... Have I got any blacky blacks? No, I haven't. What's in that bit? I can't even remember what half my kit is, you know. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we'll just have to get adventurous. Oh, of course I've got the pastel colours, haven't I? Um... I'm just being a slight dirt here. Um, one way of getting darker colours is to combine dark colours. Which is what I'm just doing. Just getting a slightly darker gradient near the face. I'm not used to working in pastels, so all this is uber, 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 uber alien to me. I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. Still thinking about how to fix um, something that I'm not happy with. So far, I've used to see smudgy sticks. I know. I know if I've got one. Ah, oh, come here. Caran d'ache. Pencil, love it. Um, a bit more experimenting. Will a white Caran d'ache luminance pencil work? No. Ooh. Well, not exactly. No. Um. Okay. Let's let's not give in. Ah, there we go. It is working slightly. I think it's actually working just about enough. It's working enough to just about make some slight grosser errors, less gross errors. Well, it's blended it back. Feels a little bit less crazy. Bear with me, there's another piece of kit. Um, I haven't tried out yet. So what, let's, let's try one of these pastel things. Pastel diddly. Right. So this is all about experimenting. Now, if we take that brush that I was using earlier.
haven't really been able to move it much. The pastels on the other hand, I seem to have moved a lot. Okay, so that's handy tonight. I need to watch the tutorial on how to deal with that. Oh, well, we've got some texture in there. Right, washy washy. I'm back on the magnetic thing. Okay, so that didn't quite work to plan. So think pencil. So this is all uh, all experimenting right now. So ha ha, pencil is a yes. Let's get some whiskers out. This is why I like experimenting with new things. Pencil works on here, then in theory, luminance might not, but charcoal, white charcoal might. And that's nice actually, because I could do the drawing in pencil like I started with and um, finish off the detail in pencil instead of using the pens. That's what I'm thinking right about now. Right, this one, let's see if I'm fine, chocolate or pencil. What have I got here? I've got colour tints. This is a Derwent charcoal pencil, so I'm not expecting miracles from it. Well, let's see. Is this going to work? Place your bets now. Mm, not really, no. It moves what's already on the paper, so it softens but it doesn't have um, any impact. Actually, no, a little bit. A weeny, 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 weeny bit. So I'm gonna try and fix this up. Actually, just by moving it, it's, um, created a bit better. I so regret putting the pen on. <laughs> right, what do I love about this product so far? I love the acrylic paint, lush. I am loving the, I have no idea where they've even gone. Um, the pastels. Serious love to pastels. Mwah. I am loving the applicators. Yay! What I'm not loving is the pens. Um, I know Jane Davenport's artwork is much more kaping, but 
for me, getting the skin tone so light and so nice and then putting a bold pen over it. I suppose because this image isn't a bold image, this is kind of a soft image, that's what's kind of knocked me a little bit. But it's a learning curve. This is an experiment. I definitely loved it before I put the pen on. <laughs> I'm loving it less, but still, it's my freehand drawing of a person's face for starters, which is a miracle for me. But I'm going to try and add in a weeny, 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 weeny bit more detail. Yes, I know I overwork my detail every single time. I just want to add more of who this guy was or is is because he still is alive and if you're ever down in Dorset you'll probably see him in the town uh, because he owns the sausage factory and they make a huge amount of different meat products there um, very very skilled man I think he's got seven or eight dogs himself and last year he hosted a dog event on the beach and he did so well he really really did um, it was like a waggiest tail kind of competition and he hosted it absolutely brilliantly you couldn't have asked for a better host So I'm just going to try and get a little bit more of the character into there. Damn those sunglasses! <laughs> Sorry. I just keep on looking at this and thinking, I'm loving the skin tone. Do, 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 do. Then I'm looking at the glasses and thinking, oh boy, that went wrong. So next time I will draw a proper proportioned face. And I will definitely, definitely do this process again because I am loving it. But what I won't do is use the inks. The inks I need to find another use for. They're lovely inks, there's, there's no doubt about it, they are lush inks. But for my style, it's not really um, what I'm after. And then I need because it's got kind of a dark shadow coming from the nose. So nobody knows, like he knows his nose. If I go back to that really nice creamy colour. Um, I must say what I'm extra extra enjoying is that you can keep on applying these so you can build it up, build it up, build it up. Do, 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 do. I'm just building a drawing. La, 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 la. If I got the proportions right for the head then this image would work a lot better. But hey ho. Rome wasn't built in a day, even if Berkshire was. Um, I think I, what I will do is I will put this onto the, well share it on with the Jane Davenport um, Facebook page. I know I've made mistakes on it but somebody may be able to help me sort out the glasses issue actually yeah I've done the nose wrong as well haven't I my goodness me it's only when you with art you're often told look and look again and re-look and that's because every time you look you see something different and yeah I've seen something there that I've done wrong if I could get to that the, this piece here. I've done his nose too long basically. Oh, I 
like he's got a little mark up on this part of his nose. Yeah, the pen has, has beaten me sadly today. But I'm not admitting full defeat. I'm gonna practice, practice and learn some more. And we will learn and we will improve and we will get the jolly hang of this. If there's anything I can do to improve that ear. I wouldn't mind a really dark colour, um, something really earthy. I think that would probably help. You can you can really layer these up. Okay, maybe, well, maybe if I tighten that up, this part. let that dry and then I'm going to try and add the white over it to buff it back
but the pens are excessively juicy. Tell you what though, I would actually feel comfortable doing pastel portraits right now without the pens. Seriously, without the pens. Out of the way pens. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm blown away with how beautifully the acrylics and the pastels handle. And actually, look at my hands. Um, seriously, when I've used pastels in the past, I've been completely coated now. My hands are shiny. And my nails are filthy because I've been in the garden today. <laughs> I'm always in some dirt. But there's no, like, patches of transfer on my hands. And I just think that's awesome. That's what I want. No gunk everywhere yeah so um okay, apart from the screw up on the eyes um sign me up <laughs> sign me up for more jane davenport quote um, so i'm just gonna hope that this is dry and let's see can can i pick up ah oh, yes that's what I was hoping. I was hoping the pastel would sit on top of the pens. These pastels are awesome. And there's no transfer of pen onto the applicator. can push it back so that it doesn't stand proud of the image which yeah still is going to look a bit goofy but I'm happier with that buffed right back and not standing proud of the image yes I'm more happy with that right run away quickly <laughs> in fact it's actually absorbed it a bit so it's turned it from shiny to matte which means that in theory, da -da -da, so, yeah, um, I could go on all day personally with this kit. And by the way, I am not being sponsored. Um, this is me, me, me. Time to stop playing. Stretch it down. Uh, well, that's no surprise on that one, no surprise on that, no surprise on that, no surprise on that. Uh, I need to charge my phone. I need to also download a load of photos. Hopefully that's enough. So what I'm doing now is cleaning my phone. I was out in the rain today playing Pokemon Go, so it's come on, fine. Play nicely. So then I can look at the image on my phone. Uh, yes, I know phone Oops, screaming at me that there's a problem right so phone image proper image no one I'm moderately happy yeah my phone is really poor it has picked up some of the details but not all of it and you might actually be able to see the eyes underneath the sunglasses which was the look that I was going for anyway <laughs> Um, in real life the colours are a lot darker it's because my lighting is really squiffy um, 
yeah. Uh, the colours that you see there, that's more of it. Not the pen. Stupid the pen. Um, but, uh, yeah. So that's going on Instagram, that's going on Jane Davenport's thing. And I am so drawing people's faces. Right, I'm off to get some sleep and go and do some more work. This is fun. I, I've never had so much fun with pastels before. Thank you, Jane Davenport. You rock. And so do your products. So uh, hopefully in the future, a much better proportioned drawing, not just a freehand sketch. And uh, we'll go from there. And you think I've hardly used any of the kit. <laughs> My goodness me. I thought the bottles were teeny weeny weeny. But in honesty, yeah, these bottles look, seriously, teeny weeny weeny. But you're literally using a minuscule amount to do an A5 sheet, pretty much. It covers beautifully. Drying times, cushy beyond all belief. Ah, oh, I'm so going to be having fun with this product. Transportability. Yep, it's transportable. As you saw, all these little pastely things fit into that baggy thing. Where, um, come back here, baggy thing. This baggy thingy. Um, the pastels, I can easily take into the kit. Water, I'll take a spray bottle like this for washing the brushes. Squeegee things, simple as anything. You know what, I'm actually really tempted to go into um, where I work tomorrow, sit up in the cafe all day and use these to create. I'll have to check with my manager if I can do that, but um, wow, this could be my lunchtime craft kit. And yeah, I know I've been doing this for like two hours, but this is me experimenting. I take things slow. Now that I know what I can get with this product, I can pick my pace up and really have even more fun. Yes, there's going to be mistakes. That's how we learn. Yes, there are mistakes on this. I've learned. First off, the pastels are beautiful. So I, I'm just, mm, they actually smell really nice. Oh, look. There's no pastel puffy stuff. You know, um, powdery stuff. You know when you use uh, normal pastels and you, or chalk, and you do that, and there's tons of uh, dust. There's no dust on this. I'm happy bunny. Sorry. <laughs> I don't normally get excited about a product, but this, yeah. In a previous uh, program, I was questioning the price of the kit that I got after this. 100% worth it. If it comes up again next year, because believe me, I've got a lot of saving to do, I will be buying it again. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I'm going off to say thank you to Jane Tavenport for creating such a wonderful product. Um, and I hope to see you on the next video thing. No idea when it's going to be. So, yeah. I'll see you when I see you. So, all the best. Take care, everyone. Keep practicing, keep experimenting, keep creating, and enjoy and remember there are ways around mistakes so take care all the best and happy drawing to you all